Halloween Ends just released. This is the supposed finale to the whole franchise. I'm going to give my thoughts. Real quick before we get in, I do want to say hit the subscribe button down below. It does my channel a lot of good. If you like what you see here, please do hit the subscribe button and comment. What are your thoughts on the Halloween franchise as a whole, this new trilogy, um, and then this specific movie? Um, because this movie is really divided. Um, it seems to be either you really enjoy it or you really dislike it. Where do I fall on that? Let's get into it. There are 13 movies in this franchise. I've seen about five of them. So I enjoy the franchise. So going into this, I was a little nervous because the critics were really mixed on it. Some saying they really enjoyed it. Some saying it was really bad. And the, rec and the, the direction they took in here wasn't good. And I think your enjoyment in this movie is going to be on that direction that they took. If you enjoyed it, then if you enjoyed this new weird kind of take they took on it, then you'll love the movie. And if you didn't, you're not going to like it. And you're going to think it's kind of a weak finale to the Halloween franchise because that's kind of what it was marketed as. It was marketed as this is the end of Michael Myers. Now, will they reboot, blah, blah, blah. Will they reboot it sometime? Possibly. They could. And I actually think they will. Um, but for the time being, this is the conclusion to the franchise. I liked it. I know a lot of people don't like it. I enjoyed it. I thought Corey as a character was interesting. And I thought what they did with his character in this movie worked as a character study. And I know a lot of people were saying that they don't like this character because he's new and they don't know him. And I think while that is true, I think this feels kind of like its own movie and while it does take place after Halloween Kills it does feel kind of self-contained for some aspects of it like with Corey um, and Laurie Strode's granddaughter um, that whole thing really feels kind of self-contained in the movie and I enjoyed that I enjoyed that it felt kind of like its own thing however though it does feel kind of weird that this is the finale of this franchise because it does feel kind of like they just created Corey as a character for this movie and they did do that but it feels like that it doesn't feel like a conclusion because it feels like it's just a normal installment because until the end of the movie but for the majority of the movie it's just about Corey and uh Laurie Strode's granddaughter and kind of how the town sees Corey and that whole thing and I, while I enjoyed that it, it felt it feels weird for conclusion and I think that's where kind of the problems lie with a lot of people on this is that why would they do this for the finale or why would they make this not about Michael Myers so I'm gonna get into some spoilers now but Michael Myers is barely in the movie he shows up at the throughout the movie for like five seconds, 10 seconds at a time. He's barely in the movie. And then at the end, we get the, of course, the end uh, fight with Laurie and Michael. And that's not even that long. Most of that fight is actually Corey dressed as Michael Myers. And then when he gets in there, it's over pretty quick. Um, so it is a weird direction to take for the finale in a franchise of not making it about the characters who've made up the franchise up until that point and making it more about this new character that you created in the finale. And I think that's where the problems lie. I still enjoyed it and I still really kind of liked Corey's character until a certain point. Uh, I thought that what they do with this, he's very well written for the most part. Um, I think what they do with this character works well and i think that's how you can carry out the rest of the franchise is different people putting on the mask kind of like scream i don't know if they i really want them to go there but i feel like they could go there this movie is a mixed bag because it is a finale and it should feel like a finale to the franchise and while the last 25 minutes does the majority of the movie doesn't and i think that's a problem there aren't a lot of stakes and the movie's not very scary I still enjoyed most of it though, and I really kind of like to see his uh, Corey's transition from kind of a misunderstood guy to just a psychopath. Um, and I think that was really decently written. This movie's a mixed bag. Tell me your thoughts down below. What did you think on it? I'm gonna give Halloween Ends a six out of 10. Is it a good movie? 
No, I enjoyed parts of it though. Tell me your thoughts down below. As always, you can hit the subscribe button right now and check out some more videos right now.